All right. All right. Um, love one uh, in Christ Jesus. Uh, once again, this is your pastor and your prophet. Um, do you do Henry appear crown as usual? Uh, this very hour, I just want to share some powerful uh, teachings with you. But before we start, um, I want us all to pray before we begin this uh, short teachings. Right. Uh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we bless your name for your mercy and for your grace. Uh, Abba, Father, speak unto us. Let us bring forth life and power into our spirit. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. All right. So, um, love one uh, in Christ Jesus. As usual, as I said, um, I'm going to um, share with you uh, some powerful teachings, I believe. Uh, is going to bless your life and transform you powerfully um, in your Christian journey. So once again, uh, this is your, your pastor and your prophet, um, you do Henry Apia Kwan, and as usual. So I've titled this message, um, let me see how, okay, living with your enemies, uh, living with your enemies, living with your enemies, because, um, we have different kinds of enemies, we have levels and models of enemies and um, it takes uh, wisdom and then knowledge and then uh, power to live and to deal with enemies. And so I'll take the scripture from the book of uh, Matthew chapter 6 verses number 43. Matthew chapter 6 verse number 43. And this is what Jesus said, these are the words of Jesus. Uh, he said that, uh, ye have heard that it have been said. Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth um, and sendeth rain on the just and unjust. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same. And if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans do so. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So, these are the words of our Lord, our Master, our Savior, our Redeemer, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, uh, Jesus Christ. And here he's saying that um, we... We should love our enemies. You see, in the in the Old Testament, in the Old Covenant, uh, it was an eye for an eye and two for a tooth. If the enemy does something, you have to also fight back. But in the New Covenant, under the, the covenant of Christ Jesus, he said that uh, you have heard it have been said, thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate and but I say this is what is happening now. So this is the new command that Jesus Christ is going to but he said that we should love our enemies. And bless them that curses us and do good unto them that are hate us mm. and those who despitefully use us now I've said uh, in my book I wrote a book titled um, how to live and deal with enemies and in that book um, what I explained or what I, I, I gave out was that we have over seven types of enemies I get me we have seven types of enemies and I will not go much deeper into that book. Uh, you can get a book for free on my blog. That is uh, www.rockofheaven.com. Now, Jesus said that we should love our enemies. We should what? We should love our enemies. In fact, those who curse us, those who despitefully um, use us, they, they neglect us, they oppose us, we should love them now naturally or physically or emotionally it's very difficult to love somebody who hates you it's very very um emotionally uh, uh, sometimes impossible to love somebody who cares you somebody who despitefully use you who doesn't love who doesn't care for you doesn't really matter about you but these are the words of jesus and now jesus said that we should love our enemies those who hate us those who despitefully use us and I said at the beginning of this teaching that we have different kinds of enemies we have different levels of enemies now in my book titled how to live and deal with enemies I I, I listed about seven or nine 
types of enemies. Now, in the in this life, we have spiritual enemies, we have physical enemies. Now, we all know that spiritual enemies are those who are in the dark kingdom, like the demons, uh, the, the, the evil spirit, Satan and his cohorts. These are the demons or these are the evil spirit who stand against our life. So without the word of God, without you allowing the word of God to, to guide you, uh, these are spiritual enemies, these are invisible enemies and they oppose us in, 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 our, in our Christian journey. They oppose God and they oppose anything that glorifies God. Now, you get to understand in this life that these spiritual enemies stands our way and we cannot love Satan. There is no way that you can love Satan because Satan is a sworn enemy. He is an arch enemy. He has sworn by his, his, his he has made an oath that is going to oppose God, God in anything that glorify God. So he is an arch enemy of our Creator, and we cannot love Satan. No, we can't follow Satan. We can't uh, do good to Satan because naturally, when he does evil, he feels that he has done something good. He sees evil as good, and good as evil. So, for Satan and his cohorts, demons, those in the underworld, the marine spirit, those in the air, the demonic angels, all kind of demons, we have levels of the demonic, I don't want to go deeper into the demonic rank, but you see, in the dark kingdom, there are ranks, and there are these enemies, we have the spirit of fear, spirit of murder, spirit of lies, anger, lust, confusion, uh, spirit of, um, of, of hatred, bitterness, confusion. Uh, all this spirit comes in to, to fight against our glory. Now, we cannot love such enemies. I get me. Jesus Christ is not command us to love the devil, no. If you love Satan, he's going to fight against you. You see, the devil is a liar. In the book of John chapter 10 verse 10, Jesus said, The chief, the devil, the diabolos, he came to steal, to kill, and then and to destroy. I get it, but our Lord, our Master, our Savior, our King, our Redeemer, He came that you and I will have life and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. So, the, the main vision of the devil is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And there is no way we can love somebody who is in to, to kill us, to destroy us. No. You see, when you check the animals, you see, in the animal kingdom, we have different kinds of snakes. Some snakes are poisonous. And some snakes are not are poisonous. I get to me. You see, if a poisonous snake bites you, if you don't take antivenom or maybe go to the hospital to take maybe a drug that will um, destabilize or immunize the poison, you can die from that poison. And there are some snakes too that they are not poisonous. When they bite you, it will not kill you. Now, you cannot love the snakes which are poisonous because they can harm, they can kill you, they can destroy you. Now, in the same way in this life. We have physical enemies and there are some enemies who maybe who hate you because out of jealousy maybe out of maybe how you are growing up how you are succeeding they become jealous about you these are the common enemies that we see around and when they see your glory and when they see your your your, your uplift when they see that you are rising up they will start maybe to gossip about you to lie about you to accu accuse you uh, to force to form a group just to uh, bring you down there was a call that uh, came in through. So, you see, as I said, that there are some, there are different kinds of snakes. I get to explain that that we are different level, different types of snakes. Some are po okay. So, as I said, that <laughs> these are demons. Man. As I said, that um, we have different types of snakes, and some are venomous. Some are not uh, uh, venomous. Some are. Uh, very bad when they attack now jesus has paid us to love our enemies i get in me uh, as i said earlier that um we are physical enemies and we have spiritual enemies i get in me and i explained that uh sorry for the intervention because i had a call that came through this uh, discussion now i explained that we have uh, two kinds of enemies and under this enemy, we have sub-enemies. Now, 
we have the spiritual enemies which i explained that these are the demons these are the witches the occultists uh, the necromancers the magicians the sorcerers the satanists uh, those who the wizards those who fly in the night those who and all these are spiritual enemies now for such enemies they use uh, evil spirit i get in they use demonic powers to operate and it's a spirit living inside them and for such enemies we cannot allow them because they are they are they are ultimate enemies of, of, of God and for his creation but for the physical enemies that maybe when they see your glory when they see your star when they see your, your your uplifting they want to fight against you these are just common enemies and you see the enemy works through human beings the devil he works through human beings he works through animals he works through objects he works through um, buildings he works through the water anything that is an object he can work through it but what it needs most is human because through human beings he can express his emotion and desire so sometimes people behave abnormally most often is the enemy working through them so you get to understand that jesus said in the book of luke chapter um, 5 verse uh, verse 43 downs that we should love our enemies now there are some churches that preach that we should love our enemies now as i said that we have different kinds of enemies we have what we have different kinds of enemies and um, what I'm going to teach you I'm going to teach you the type of enemy that you can love and those you cannot love so you see when we come to let's say the physical enemies we have those who are the witches the wizards and the witches we have different kinds of witches we have blind witches we have red witches black witches Abraham Melin witches we have um, Indian witches or court witches uh, marine witches water witches you have over 19 types of witches and you see some of them are sworn enemies and some of them are ignorant enemies now you see this type of enemies that we are talking about that they, they, they are in they have made an oath they made a curse or they've 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 planned that until you are dead they will not sleep now if you read the bible carefully like for instance in the old testament like on the, like on the new testament now in the new testament there's a man called Apostle Paul. If you read the book of Acts, over 40 Jews they conspired to assassinate Apostle Paul. They, they, they bound themselves under an oath, under a case that until they kill Apostle Paul, they will not eat nor drink. Now, these are sworn enemies. I get me for such enemies, they have sworn and they have made an oath that they are going to kill you. They are not repenting, they are not renouncing their wickedness. They have made a covenant with the devil that. They are going to kill you and they will never repent for such enemies you can't love them because they are like poisonous snakes and as a poisonous snake you cannot live with a poisonous snake I get to me but for the non poisonous snakes you can still live with them and so there are some enemies that maybe as I said out of jealousy maybe they want to just gossip about you say lies about you I call them uh, so the American is said, let, let your, your mind be full of the word. I get in me. If you are full of the spirit, you can discern the enemy that is fighting against you. You see, Jesus said, a man's enemy shall be those of his own household. So maybe in the workplace, there are some enemies there. In your family, there are some enemies there. If you are a pastor, expect the enemy to come from the same, the pastoral circle. If you are maybe an accountant, expect an enemy to be the same accountant because they are within your circle, your jurisdiction. That is where the enemy is. The enemy is not outside the, the, the room, he's inside the room. So Jesus said that a man's enemy shall be those of his own household. So you must apply wisdom, learn how to, to detect, how to speak, how to, to, to share secret, how to review your, 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 your progress because when they see your progress they begin to manifest so as jesus said that we should love our enemies now the word love there we have different kinds of love i get we have different levels of love we have the agape the filio we have different kinds of love now the love there you see love consists of our emotions our desire and our feelings i get me so 
The love that Christ is talking about is that we must love them unconditionally. Maybe for the ignorant and those maybe who who gossip about us, they talk evil about us, maybe they lie about us. For them, no, we can love them. We can show the love of Christ towards them. When we show the love of Christ towards them, if they are ignorant enemies, they begin to repent from that evil deed. But you see, when uh, they are sworn enemies, it doesn't matter the kind of love that you express towards them, they will still fight. They will still what? They will still fight against because for the sworn enemies, they are determined. They have made a covenant. They have they have sworn by themselves that until you are dead, they will never rest. So for such enemies like this, you have to uh, deploy the wisdom of God on how to live and to deal with them. And so Jesus said that we should be as wise as a serpent and be as um, uh, um, harmless as a dove. Mm. We must be wise as a serpent and be harmless as a dove. So we have a key concept here that if you want to, to, to walk in wisdom, if you want to walk and live with the enemy, the first key is that you must have the mind of Christ. If you want to love your enemies, you must possess, you must have more of the Holy Spirit. Because if there is no connection between you and the Holy Spirit, you can fall into the trap of the sworn enemies. And I explain that we have two types of enemies. We have spiritual enemies and we have physical enemies. And under the physical enemies, we have we have the sworn enemies and then ignorant enemies. Those who just hate you just because of your progress and such people they gossip about you. Yes normal enemies but for those who go to juju priest omoko abo some so ekoji in ru ekoji to me say omo se ono sa onko fono omo no they are different kind of love that to them i get me you have to spread a kind of love that that will bring a kind of joy because when you buy a gift and give to enemy pray over the gift you see there is power in love if you show love towards an enemy and that enemy is not bound by Satan. Or if that enemy is not connected to the devil, the person will repent. From my little experience, when you buy a gift for somebody who hates you, who despise you, who talk evil about you, if you maybe you show love to the person, maybe you buy a gift for the person, you pray for the person, uh, you invite them to the church, you preach the word of God to the person. If that person is not a sworn enemy, he will come back to you. But if that person has sworn and made a covenant with the devil that he's going to destroy you, it doesn't matter the kind of love you express toward that person, he will still hate you. And for such enemies, you can't love them. I get me. So you, you, you need a kind of superior knowledge. And that knowledge emanates from the Word of God. That knowledge emanates from, from the Holy Bible. And if you are connected to the Holy Spirit, if you are connected to the word of god if you are connected to the spirit it doesn't matter what comes your way the holy spirit that lives inside you can help you discern who you must work because you see love is very deep love is very 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 deep how can you hate somebody who insults you how can you how can you love somebody who accuses you how can you love somebody who says that uh, you will not make it but these are the words of Jesus Jesus said we should love those who curse us those who despitefully use us you see Jesus Christ will not tell us to do something we cannot do It's the Bible the Bible will never command us to do something that we cannot do it's impossible we can do it that is why Jesus said we should love our enemies and I explain that the ignorant enemies we can love them but for those who have purpose, who have covenanted, who have made a curse upon themselves that until they see us die, they will not live. For such enemies, we can love them, but we can maybe pray for their deliverance. Are you getting me? And the love of God is such that when we preach the good news unto them, when, when, when we intercede for them, the Holy Spirit has a way of changing them. When we, when we show them that, yes, we are in the light. You see, one thing about this world is that this world lies in total darkness. You see, 
the God of this world has blinded those who don't know Christ. And you see, if someone does not know Christ, he lives in darkness. But for you, you being a child of God, you are in the light. You are born again. You have the light of the Holy Spirit. And that light lives inside the inner man of you. So, if you have light, you can see ahead. But those in darkness, they don't know what they are doing. So, to love your enemies, you must possess the light of the Holy Spirit. You must do what? Possess the light. Possess the wisdom. Possess the grace. Possess the fire of the Holy Ghost. When you have the mind of Christ, it doesn't matter what the enemy projects at you. You can still stand. They will say bad things about you. They will gossip about you. They will slander you. They will accuse you. They will say all kind of bad things. They will even take you to all kind of malam powers. But if you dwell in Christ and still walk in the path of Christ, no matter what they do against you, it will not work. And so, to love your enemies, number one is that you must be established in Christ Jesus. I get me. To love the enemy, you must be established in the Lord. Number two, you must know the difference between spiritual enemies and physical enemies. Number three, you must know whether the, the, the enemy is, is either um, poisonous or non-poisonous. As I explained that, we have two kinds of snakes. Those who are uh, poisonous, those who are not poisonous. I get me. So you can't dwell with a poisonous snake. It can kill you, but you can dwell with a non-poisonous snake. So, if you are in Christ, if you if you abide in the Word of God, if you are connected to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit can help you discern who the person is, what kind of spirit the person carries. So, if you are born of God and born of the Spirit and born of the water, you can love your enemy. You can pray for them. You can show them love because they are lost. They don't know what they are doing. And you see, I said that love goes beyond emotions love goes beyond our feelings you see love is the decision that you make that i'm going to love you no matter how see christ jesus loved us whilst we were here sinners. so love is something that we show towards people who don't deserve it christ loved us whilst we were here sinners. so to love your enemy don't expect a person to do to, to, to love you know this is a kind of the unconditional love i get the agape the divine love we show unconditional they don't deserve it but we still show love to them and we apply wisdom in that love in that relationship loving someone means that don't go and then put your head no loving someone means don't go and then maybe put your head on the table for the person to cut your head no in the love apply wisdom as you show love for the person you do what you apply the wisdom of the holy spirit if you apply the wisdom of the holy spirit it doesn't matter what comes your way. It doesn't matter what stands your way. Because you are showing love to the person, it will create a kind of a heap load of fire upon the person. As you show love towards the enemy, they will begin to pray think and begin to make a, a kind of an amendment upon itself. You see, when you show love towards somebody, his negative thought begins to change about you. His perspective begins to change about you. Begin to show, see, because natural people need love naturally people need love they need care they need yeah, they, they need a kind of unity because the god created us in his um, image and likeness and every normal person wants to be loved wants to be cared for wants to be um maybe exalted wants to be praised so when you show love when you when you praise a person when you adore the person the the, the natural instinct we begin to, to, to change the negative aura, negative uh, how they call it, the negative feeling begin to go away from the person because you show the person love, you 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 you, you buy the person gift, uh you 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 kind of uh, uh, maybe help the person do some maybe in the house, you help the person fetch water, you help the person maybe go to the market, go to the grocery store, maybe go to where you want to go. As you begin to do that and apply wisdom in that relationship, he begin to or he begin to change his mind about you because the mind and the heart works together. When the person sees your genuine love, he begins to change his mind towards you. But for the sworn enemies, the poisonous enemies, the poisonous snake, those who have sworn, those who operate in darkness, the demons, doesn't matter the love you show towards them, they'll never repent. 
and for such enemies you can't love them from your heart you have to maybe pray for them maybe apply judgmental prayers because um you need wisdom you need grace you need power you need understanding and you see um we read the bible carefully the bible talks that um we should love one another we should love one another and the bible explained that love means you give because in john chapter 3 verse 6 the bible says that john 3 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that for whosoever believes in him uh, should not perish but will have an everlasting life so when you love somebody you give god so loved that he gave so when you love you give something that's more treasurable something you value you give to the person out of your heart so if you love somebody you give a precious asset your time your energy your resource to the person because that is love of god so love your enemies love those who hate you those who got about you it's because they don't know what they are doing that is why they hate you if they know you they will not hate if they know who you are they will not fight if they know who you are they will not oppose if they know who you are they will not stand against you so assume that they are very ignorant of what they are doing mm. assume that they don't know what they are doing if they know what they are doing they will not do what they are doing so once again this is your pastor and your prophet and allow god to lead you once again if you're not born again you want to give your life to christ jesus it's never too late lift up your two hands like this and pray this prayer right after me say heavenly father in the name of jesus christ i repent of all my sins I confess Christ Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. Holy Spirit, come into my heart. Grant me grace. Grant me mercy. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen. You prayed after me right now. You are born again. You are set free. You are washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, find a Bible-believing church, fellowship with them, and be part of the church. And then read the Holy Bible. Feed on the Word of God. And I pray for you. May God grant you wisdom understanding revelation with the blood of jesus christ speak for you i speak over your life that you shall not die but you shall live to declare the works of the lord in the land of the living in jesus christ's name shall the big amen once again this is your pastor and your prophet you do henry Abiakran. you can check on my blog www.rockofheaven.com i have over 70 free books and over five hundred articles for free download them share the link and help others know about christ you are blessed you are covered you are protected in jesus mighty name shout a big amen